we have the possibility of of winning this time. But, but win or lose, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Biden, whoever the Democratic uh, candidate is, just in case he's not, uh, we you know it's not official yet, but um, the I Hillary won by three million votes in the popular vote, as we call it. I think Biden, uh, he'll win by 5 million. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to come out that, that stayed home mistakenly last time. They're going to come out this time. But um, I think Trump could still win uh, the Electoral College. And so all of us have to be um, really in fighting mode because he is. And um, he, he, knows, he knows his people. So he just has to, he will get all that 44 46 percent out. He just needs a couple more percent of the people who, on his side, who stayed home last time. Yeah. So and he, he's so our, up fr- up front yeah, yeah. about how uh, <laughs> the less people vote, the better it is for Republicans. He literally said, <laughs> if, "If we had more people voting, you'd never have a Republican in this country elected again." That's not the subtext of what he said. That is actually what he said. You got to give it to this guy. He does speak his inner monologue. Uh, it, yes, and that's and that's why if you listen to him and if you take him at his word, understand that he is a lot of the time telling the truth, not the greater truth, right. his truth. He believes it. He'd pass a lie detector if you if you wired him up, and and he's right. If if we make it easy for people to vote, if we don't have voter suppression, Republicans are going to lose because the majority of the country does not support the Republican agenda. The majority of the country are not climate deniers. The majority of the country believes women should be paid the same as men. The majority of the country go down the whole list. The majority of the country takes the liberal, center-left, uh, Democratic Party position on most issues. So so the only way Republicans can win, and this has been true now for a few elections, is to cheat, is to somehow game it, rig it, do whatever they need to do. Uh, in this case, what I'm worried about, Bill, is that last time, remember, he threatened that he kept saying the whole election is going to be rigged um, and... You know, PR, my, he, what did he, he said, my Second Amendment people, I appeal to my Second Amendment people, the, the gun people, uh, to get ready, because this is going to be a rigged election. And the funny thing is, is that what he actually thought was, he was certain he would win the popular vote, because of course, everybody loves him. Uh, that's what a malignant narcissist would believe. But he was worried that the Clintons were somehow going to rig the Electoral College, and that's how he was going to lose. This time, he... He's, he doesn't even have to, he's already got his gun guys, the guys with the guns in, we saw this in Michigan the last couple of weeks, showing up at the state capitol with their long, their long arms and threatening uh, everybody to the point where the governor last Thursday just shut the legislature down, called the day off, was so afraid. This is, this is my, I want to appeal to people to not be afraid of these guys with the guns. I went to high school with them. I know them. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to kill Bambi. That's their idea of a real fight. Them and a deer. If if the deer were ever armed, if they <laughs> if it was a fair fight, these guys would never be in the woods. It's so important that liberals who generally are not gun owners not be afraid cuz that's all they're trying to do now. Liberate Michigan liberate Minnesota, uh, you know, good, good on all of you for showing up with those guns. Um, he's just trying to scare liberals because liberals get scared easy. Don't be scared. Um, you know, we are the majority. There's more of us than there are of them. The only way that they're going to pull it off is somehow he's able to cancel the election or postpone it. That is what we have to fight against, because I'm certain that's what's going on in his head right now. Well, one way he wants to rig the vote is he's kind of declared war on the post office because, uh, Mm. for example, Michigan sent out ballots last week to everybody. And Trump, (laughs) his response was to threaten to withhold COVID aid to the state of Michigan in response, which, of course, sounds to me like the exact same playbook from Ukraine, withholding aid. That's one of his big tricks, except this is our country. (laughs) 